On October 22, 2017, the High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, or HIMARS, was fired from the flight deck of an amphibious transport dock ship for the first time, but the question is, why? The U.S. Marine Corps has been considering how it can assist the U.S. Navy at the ocean and bolster the amphibious force's capacity to achieve and sustain sea control in areas of present and potential future operations in order to carry out littoral activities successfully. The USMC has traditionally been focused on land-based operations. The amphibious transport dock USS Anchorage LPD-23 conducted this HIMARS firing off the coast of Southern California during the Dawn Blitz. Dawn Blitz is a scenario-driven exercise designed to train and integrate Navy and Marine Corps units by providing a robust training environment. It was an effort to arm ground-based vehicles like the HIMARS or MLRS with anti-ship missiles to allow the United States Marine Corps to engage targets at far distances. U.S. Marines always remain on high alert when amphibious transport ships transit choke points, such as the Egyptian Suez Canal. But amphibious forces, such as amphibious ready groups, have shipboard self-defense systems but limited strike capability, and they typically don't deploy with ships such as destroyers that can strike targets at sea or further inland. Given their limited firepower compared to a carrier strike group, HIMARS would augment naval fires, allowing for and supporting sea control. This way, Marines who are free and not assigned to other tasks, including protecting ships in transit, can assist the amphibious force protect itself.